Hi guys, this is Mix, and I'm back for another review of uh, another box mod. It's the Nuki V2. So I'll tell you guys more about this in just a bit, but for now, let's have a bit. Baby clouds, but it gets the job done. Okay, so one of the questions that people have been asking me is, is the V2 stronger than the V1? Well, that's actually a hard question to answer, especially if I don't have the, uh, uh, the tools to measure it. But if I did, um, I'd probably say by just using it that, um, yeah, I, I guess I could say it is a bit stronger, but again, it's, it's subjective. So, um, all I can say is that the, uh, the modders have been very consistent in making the mod, and because of the consistency, you still get the same amount of power, if not more, as compared to the VM, which is a good thing. So, I guess it all comes down to your, uh, uh, mm, how strong your build is. Ah, uh, I'm running out of breath. Time to wait. Uh, yeah. And, yeah, again, it depends on the person, on how you perceive the mod, but I do believe that, um, it is still a strong mod. It's consistent with the performance. And, last one, baby. Yeah. So, uh, tell you more, guys. Be back. <sighs> Hi guys, I'm back. So let's talk more about the Nuki V2. So basically this is a new mod that just came out. Uh, it's from the same manufacturers as the Nuki, the version 1. This is the V2. Shit. Ah, so far, uh, got in my eye. Hold up. Ah! Okay, so the Nuki V2. It's a full mechanical uh, dual 18650 mod, and again, it's by uh, Vaprid. Uh, anyways, I'll be showing you guys more on the close-up what it looks like coming out from the box, as well as all the parts. But all I can say as of the moment is, um, this has been my uh, go-to mod for the past few days. Um, I'm not sure if you guys watched my first video uh, with the V1, but I've been using that mod ever since. And this mod, uh, this just uh, took its place right off the bat. I've been using it, again like I said, I've been using it ever since. Uh, when I sleep, when I eat, even even as you can see, I'm doing this review. Taking a shower. I mean, this is just the tits, guys. So I'll show you the close-ups. Ah, shit, my eye. Show you the close-ups and I'll tell you more about this bad boy. Peace out. Okay guys, uh, here's what the uh, Nuki V2 comes in. It's the packaging. So it says V2, then Nuki by, by Babe Breed. Quick look at the packaging, like us on Facebook. They have the uh, group's Facebook link there. Underneath, manufactured by Babe Breed Customs. Their location here in the Philippines and a uh, little warning okay Let's open it up remove that take out the cover and it's protected by layer of foam and there you go you have the beauty right inside okay so quick look at the uh, Nuki B2 as you can see, their uh, emblem has changed. I do believe that this new emblem adds a bit more of a, a Filipino flavor to the design. As you know, this was made in the Philippines. The emblem reminds me of a, a type of a buffalo here in the Philippines. It's a tamarau. See? 
So some modders actually, you know, put uh, their Filipino flavor onto their mods by, you know, putting sun, stars, uh, colors of our flag onto the mod. But I, I do believe uh, if this was intentional or not, that um, this actually shows how Filipino uh, the Nuki V2 is. Okay, here's the switch. It's uh, a square button now. Still recessed, as you can see. Okay, now this is uh, this is where your serial number is supposed to be at, but uh, mine says NFS, so it's a little something special that uh, I requested from B3. Of course, I also had my name engraved on it. Here is the 510. Very nice. Okay, as you can see, um, their 510 is no longer protruding as compared to the V1. And of course, this is uh, one of the biggest improvements. It's the uh, battery cover. So, although it has slots for uh, use of a coin. See? Fits. You need to use a coin to unlock it because the threads are really nice. I uh, don't mind the noise you're hearing. I'm currently situated at the side of the road right now. So, sorry for that. Anyways, a uh, good thing about this is you don't need to use the coin. All you have to do is use your fingers, as you can see. You can easily remove it. Put some batteries in, positive side up. And I'm going to put back the covers just using my fingers. Rattling. The only time you're going to be using a coin is probably someone strong, maybe the Hulk, you know, put in batteries, made it too tight, and you can't, you know, you're having a hard time removing it using your fingers. Then basically that's the only time you use a coin so that you have leverage, you know, to twist open the, uh, the battery cover. For a quick size comparison, let's get his baby brother. Here is the V1. If you can see, the V2 is a bit longer. As for the width, I'd say they're basically the same. See? So it's a bit longer. Other than that, it's basically the same size. Here it is compared to a 30 ml e-liquid bottle. Compared to a screwdriver. Compared to a long nose plier. And compared to a teddy bear. So it's not that big. Okay, so here are all the parts of the Nuki V2. As you can see, uh, we have a mixture of copper and brass parts. We have two rods. These are made from copper. We have the battery, uh, battery covers or battery caps made from brass. A battery cap housing also made from brass. 510 housing made from brass. We have two positive screws made from copper. We have two small uh, stainless steel screws. Here's the 510 made from brass. The uh, 510 pin is made from copper. And as you can see, the insulator they used is uh, peak material. So it's very durable. The switch housing made from copper. It also has a uh, black Delrin material inside. This is uh, supposedly for uh, dissipating the heat. The uh, firing pin is made from copper and the switch itself is also made from brass. Okay, this is the spring. 
Okay, and now here you have the uh, Delrin housing. The emblem is uh, force fitted onto the Delrin housing itself, so can't really remove that anymore. I believe it's also uh, held onto by uh, glue. Okay, you have two vent holes on this side, two vent holes on this side for the batteries, and you have another two vent holes for the actual um, switch housing. So this helps in dissipating the heat coming from the atomizer going to the 510 and onto your switch. Pretty cool. To put everything back, you have to start with the switch housing. Get the firing uh, firing button. You need to put in the spring first. Put the firing button in. Screw in the firing pin. Make sure it's tight. put it into the box okay all you have to do is push it in okay once you got the switch mechanism back in you now have to secure this part with the uh, two positive screws so drop them inside okay make sure it's nice and snug there we go Okay, next, and of course the uh, serial number, which is going to be here, should be facing the switch as well. So I'll put that on there, and put your 510 connector on top of it, like so. Make sure it's nice and centered. Screwing these uh, two copper rods in. There. So what I do is I just slide it back in like so. Make sure it's even. And then screw on the uh, two locking screws. There. That's how you put everything back in place. Okay? Yeah. Okay, we're back. So you've seen this bad boy up close. Now, here are my thoughts on it. Uh, for the price point, I'd say it's really affordable. Uh, here in the Philippines, it costs about, uh, around 5,500 pesos, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, although this was sent to me uh, for review by the modders, of course. Uh, international, I'm not sure how it's going to go uh, in the inter international market, but I suggest... Shit, there's an ant. Ow. I suggest you just uh, contact the modders that they breed for uh, the pricing, international price. So uh, pros and cons. Uh, pro, definitely pro. I like the looks. Very elegant and it looks really badass. You got the uh, black gold uh, theme going on, although these are, of course, brass. Um, another pro would be for the batteries. The battery compartment is really easy to remove now. Um, although you have slits for the coins, you don't really need to use them. All you need are your fingers and just finger it out, okay? Four cons. I uh, can't really think of a con, but I guess uh, as compared to the V1, it would be that it's slightly taller. Again, that is subjective. Um, uh, aside from that, really, uh, I can't really say anything else. I mean, it, it's a good mod. It's a powerful mod. If you guys are looking for a mech mod that hits really hard, uh, this is this is gonna be right in there uh, with with the other bad boys, with the other mechanical mods out in the market. 
as you can see I got my Oxy RDA on it and it's flush all my atomizers fit perfectly fine the pin on the Nokia V2 is adjustable so no worries about connections everything fits fine everything sits flush as for the batteries I've tried different other different batteries although what I have right here uh, Sony BDC fours they're all working fine so basically that's it um, if you guys um, want to know where you could buy this I'll be posting the link of the group uh, the, the uh, motors on the description below and I guess you can just contact them so I'm gonna leave you guys with a few short vapes and basically that's it bye guys Peace out.